On today's Men of the Aves, we kind of already started the in between, so we're going to have to do a whole week of podcasting about Aves. So we can get, to, so it. We can get to that. Right. I think we all want to talk. So are we ready? We're but ready. That's just, that's just us catching up, though. Uh, that's true. That's just that is true. Up. Okay. Also, like, hey, we should record this. Hey, let's stop down and catch up, and we'll get back to Men of the Aves yeah. in, in a Maybe. minute. We are determined to know what the apes want, war or peace. They only don't give us, they don't give us. And if it is man's destiny one day to be dominated, then oh, please God, let him be dominated by such as you. Welcome to Minute of the Apes, the daily podcast where we bring down every minute of the Planet of the Ape movies, one minute at a time. I am Todd. I've got new headphones on, and everything sounds really thin with these headphones. Oh. I don't sound thin while I'm talking, do I? I don't I mean, sound thin. No, you look very, very fat. Hey. I mean, I mean, you sound very, hey, that's very That's okay. Fat. <laughs> I feel healthy. H-A-T. How are you, Richard? I'm great. I'm ignoring Sean. He called me fat. You're default. I'm feeling yeah. thin. Honestly, uh, you're always thin. Can you shut up? In. I'm getting super ripped. It's awesome. Okay. Yeah. You are got, there ever oh. days where you're not super ripped? Yeah, a lot. Fuck off. <laughs> I well, love by, you. But by, fuck hey, off. Well, hey, t- 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 right? said, fuck first. <laughs> <laughs> but leaning out for the comp, I am watching my macros a little bit better. And, and right. it's, it's definitely I can see the change in terms of losing a little bit of body fat. For those of you that, you know, that are, that are coming on board nowadays and, and, and when we get to the end of the week, I'm going to make sure I do what I try to do and call out a lot of people who um who've joined in on our Facebook group and things like that. But a lot of you who maybe have never gone and seen pictures of Richard. <laughs> well, the, it, Sean what and I, well, are you send hey, to? Well, I, was about to say, I can't tell you don't, because I'm making money. Uh, don't, on it. Don't do just a Google search for Richard Neal because you get a U.S. representative and that is not you. That is not me. No, no. but if you go to our, our website, you can find that you can also, you know, basically through the Facebook group, you can probably trail it back to him. But the boy, He's ripped. He's, uh, shut up. I, shut up. Uh, I, I, I do that out of, I like, okay, thank proud you. of you. Yeah, right. It's freaking well, awesome. I, I work out. You do work out, and you look freaking awesome. Hey, get Chris uh, working on your SEO, because Richard Neal is the third result that you really want for Zeus Comics. That's the third result. Your first one is the CW, for some reason. Oh, wow. Yeah. What? Oh, that's true. I guess that would come up <laughs> and with And your it. second uh, result is, and when I do Richard Neal Zeus, that's yeah, what I yeah, did, yeah. Uh, is whenever you decide not to sell Superman because of Orson, Orson Scott, Scott Card. That's, that's the crazy. second that's result. That's the news. Yeah. Wow. And that's from 2013. Wow. Hey, I have an idea. What are we talking about? Oh, okay. hey, wait. <laughs> what are we doing here? Podcast? We're, doing thing. we're just kind of like catching right. up and talking about random right. things. Okay, cool. Let's so the, the, the weird thing is, and we are at Sean's house again. This is, I guess, if I'm Zeus North, yeah, I'm, then I'm you're like, the Zeus Anna. He's Anna, like Zeus yeah. Anna. Yeah, yeah. He's okay. Zeus extension. Basically. So we will say this. Library, it is right. Office. Yes, that library that yeah. was greatly Reduced, populated yeah. by Zeus. Oh, yeah. Goodness. The, A lot of your inventory. The old library. Wow. Yes. You could find like the... Grimoire and crazy books. <laughs> so if you hear tonight, you'll hear Nala and you'll hear Nala. You'll hear JJ coming in and yeah, JJ Sean's wife's going to make dinner in a bit. So we're going to have some noises of, of a normal house here. But in the meantime, we're going to talk about apes. We're up to minute twenty one. Sean, 21. tell us what's going on. We start minute twenty one with Caesar trying to open the lock cage and ends with a cage being delivered to ape management. Let's take a listen to minute twenty one of Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Shipment 507i. All right, as a minute 21, we have a courtyard worth of gorillas, chimpanzees, orangutans, imported apes, Caesar, and a plant worth of humans. You know, I can't even watch the minute right away when I was making my notes without thinking of you talking about the, the guards and the costumes they have. <laughs> and so in this one, we get two guards. This, right. the, entire, the entire thing of how this works, number one, if you hear the, a cage locking and latching in the background wouldn't you immediately go and look like what the hell it seems like a, just in this exact moment when caesar slips into the cage right that naked. there's yes he's very well, naked, yeah. hey. naked um and he, he apes have smooth chests so if if uh, well, human males t- tend to have hair on their chest mm-hmm. apes have the exact opposite according to what corn uh Cornelius, caesar's costume is okay I mean, because you're obviously looking at that big batch of just skin, but he slips in. You hear the cage go. Isn't that a moment though, where the the filmmakers probably should have had a what was that? Instead, the the, the dude just sort of <laughs> quietly turns and goes. Well, not only and stares. Not well, only he, what he's not expecting. I mean, th- there's there's no uh, shenanigans that we know that have been happening that would make him suspect of something. He yeah. just heard a noise and he kind of turned and looked at it and set his script down. Your house makes random. Cracks and pops, and you I don't, check out every one of you, them. You don't go, yeah. You don't, they're outside. They're on a dock. There's going to be noises. They're not necessarily going to uh, check everything. But the bad thing is, you're on a delivery dock. Okay, let's make sure it's the most shadowy dock that you've ever put any cargo on, so that you can't see clearly in there. And let's have a chimpanzee hide with orangutans and nobody say, hey, what's going on? Because I'm assuming they would divide them by – say something. Hey, yeah, three orangutans here. Three chim- They wouldn't put a chimp, a gorilla, and orangutan in the same well, kind of cage. I wonder if they hadn't thought about the fact that maybe they should have put chimps in that cage so that it could blend in a little bit better. Yeah, instead of orangutans. Right. Uh, but it, if, if it's anything that the uh, – um, there are supposed to be gorillas and orangutans in the cage. Like it's it's a mix of of, of characters, well, not just one should, or the other. Yeah, it should, it should have been a mix. In they, it would have been kind of goofy to do it, but they should have had a, a, just a gorilla and just a orangutan, and then the chimp gets in there to make the triumvirate somehow. I wonder if you can mix those species without it being a potential issue. I, 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 I'm thinking like. It's one of those things like where you see like tigers and lions yeah. and panthers all and get bears along. And I think. Depending on bears and dogs and mm-hmm. stuff like that, that I think of lions it just tigers always becomes that, that you have to finish that sentence. The bears yeah. and lions and tigers, yeah. yeah. I think it, one or the other. I think exactly. it just depends on how they're raised. If they grew up together, Maybe. they're okay. If they meet each other in the wild, they're not friends. I don't know. I, 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 the only reason I ask that is that we aren't big zoo people, but having a child, we we took her to a zoo at one point, and I was trying to remember. You know, and I think I even told the story in an earlier one where, of course, when I take my kid and she's looking at the big ape, all of a sudden it craps in his hand. And starts of course. Eating, eating it right in front of her. Daddy, yeah. what's going on? Yeah, that was it's a, a lovely circle t- of life. <laughs> <laughs> Try to explain that one to your kid. But um, I, I don't recall different species of apes, primates being mixed together. I recall I them no, more. Chimps were, were in their own cage. Yeah. Together, so I could see why they might together. pull them apart. Yeah. Oh yeah, but, the zoos. Yeah, of course they keep but, them separate. But these, these are these are these are now kind of they're pets. Evolved, they're yeah. pets. So even, even though uh, they're still pulling them over from overseas. So an orangutan should get along with a chimp because they're trying to train them to all get along, guess, anyways. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, in this, it really doesn't mean anything to this. But we've kind of talked about the brevity of which you know these these films, especially the latter ones, where they just really don't even open up what occurs. It could have been a nice moment for. You know, clown costumed guard number one to turn to number two and goes, I don't see a chimp on here. He's like, do you care? You know, if, even if they had that kind of thing. That they're all <laughs> like, I got to go to lunch. Yeah. Lenny, well, come on, let's like go. That would well, be nice. All right. So so if you're listening to the to the to the minute, Caesar gets into the cage. You hear the click. Guard one turns and looks briefly. He then walks and put his kind of clipboard down for a second. Guard two appears. Guard two of them approach the, 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 the yeah. crate. And they go ahead and put the gate over the crate, and then I'll be honest, it was it was thirty seconds into this minute where I realized they were actually a truck. A truck. Yeah, I didn't. I was going. Was what are they doing as well? Yeah. Truck. Oh, a truck. Into a yeah. Truck. The, I had no idea what was happening. I thought it was just a cage on a dock. Yeah. Uh, but because the back, the 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 
where the headlights of the truck would be facing. Yeah, it's it was weird. so dark, I couldn't tell it was a truck right away. The Raiders of the Lost Ark, where they get them in the back of the truck and but get them out But once they put the gate on, we then hear the truck engine kind of start up a little bit, and they, they move off. By the way— And uh, just to the kind listener, we're getting sweet kisses from Sean's wife, and JJ. And I'm the, I'm the last one to get the kiss. So, well, that tells you something. <laughs> Best for last. So just— I don't know how much more you want to talk about this, but I need you to know that Dane did not write the scene like that. Well, okay. it's funny you say that because half of why I was getting to this was it felt like this was a cut down scene or something that didn't. They oh just God. were like, Let's, hey, all we got to do this, get him in here. OK, you look and you go, oh, whatever. You're thinking it, but they don't convey it. So what did Dane, Dane want? Dane made his paycheck writing the three pages <laughs> describing this minute. Uh, well, at, at being at the docks? All, all, being at the docks, getting in the oh. truck, getting in the truck with the eggs. The oh, okay. Him trying to them them. I mean, it's not. Where's the? Because we're, we're we're two and a half pages in before it actually shows the the ape management. Okay. Oh, geez. All right. It's that far down so before we get to ape management. On average, how long is a page of script supposed to be? One minute. One, One minute. minute. So he wrote two minutes just about delivering the apes to a. No, well, I don't. But let's also be fair too. We we said this before. Some of these movies have not adhered to the concept that usually a scene is supposed to be around two to three pages. Can get up into five if you're really going to get into a lot of exposition. Yeah. But these things, up until this point, we've had tons of one minute, maybe one minute and a half scenes. So, again, brevity is a thing, but put, throw out three minutes for this. Oh, is my what gosh. Uh, so, uh, shooting upwards as it descends, its destination is a truck. Dimly and only partially revealed in the darkness and what is apparent through what is – this cage will only just fit into the back of this vehicle. Zooming through the blackness in the corner of the rear of the truck, we discover crouched down low Caesar apparently looking apprehensively at it. Its speed, size, and weight is highly alarming, especially to Caesar. Just when it seems nothing can save Caesar from being crushed to death, he decides to make a last-second dash for it and leap out of the back of the truck. But he has left it too late. Oh, so he's halfway not in the cage? halfway across the truck. Caesar realizes he cannot reach his objective. The bottom of the swiftly descending cage is now but a few feet above him, and Caesar does the only thing left to, to, to op, uh, left open to him. He hurls himself to the side, pressing him flat against the woodwork. Simultaneously, the cage falls with a sickening thump. Its outer edge edge misses decapitating Caesar by misses decapitating Caesar by inches. The historical occupants squeal and gibber, and in this confined space, the ruckus is chilling. With no waste of time at all, the tailgate of the truck is hoisted into position. Again, the cage trembles and makes and shakes as the truck starts up upon its journey. Gradually, he grunts, squeals, and gibbering subside, and the occupants become more of Caesar. And there is something which uh, uh, something about Caesar which disturbed them. They gather at the at the bar of the cage, <clears throat> peer curiously out, pressed against the side of the truck in the cage. Caesar slips his hand through the bars, pulls back a bolt, and then another enters the cage and rebolts it. At this moment, the truck now obviously traveling at a speed. We never see the outside. We follow its progress by behavior cage. Hits a large bump. This throws the inmates off balance. All except Caesar, who of course has had good sense to hang on to a bar. Caesar's can't, face cannot help but I'll be, uh, 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 fleetingly registering a modicum of contempt as he beholds his companions sprawling grotesquely on the floor. So meanwhile, that whole guard in, scene didn't even really happen. Movie, They're like, what I do we get, do? I don't know. And meanwhile in the movie, it's I get in the cage, truck takes off. Well, okay. As That's an were, action sequence. It would be really, really I, hard to and, film. And what I kept trying I can to, see that happening in the new movies. I can yeah. almost see that because it pl- almost sounds like a little video game sequence where you're it trying does. to avoid the cage. And, <laughs> but, but what <laughs> I started thinking is, you know, <laughs> Donkey Kong going. Uh-huh. <laughs> Scenes are supposed to give us new information about character situations. This would have provided me nothing for Caesar, whereas as the scene exists... I, I know that he's has the ingenuity to open the he the can read he can, pad he can read the padlock he can do says, it he knows to take his clothes off to to assimilate and blend yeah. in uh-huh. um, these are bits of information that can serve me as a viewer going forward that I at least know he has these abilities what you read. I don't know that other than a cool little action would have, sequence wouldn't have, have helped me at all. You would have figured anything out. But we also don't know, and I, we probably mentioned this last minute. I I don't know why his sudden desire. To get, get out, out of the, of the city. Cage. Oh, wait, if for this scene to have happened, I would have needed a small chase sequence for him to try yeah. and want to hide for this kind of an action. And even now, I'm still wondering why, why he, he feels the need to leave the city. What made him feel like he needs this moment? Like, did he see Armando getting taken away? Well, but okay, the then is, let's go back to it. Because Armando not, does tell him to go. 